In the 2002 midterm elections, Georgia was one of the first states to use only electronic voting machines statewide in an election. One closely watched Georgia race in 2002 was the Senate contest between Max Cleland and Saxby Chambliss. In the final pre-election polls, incumbent Democratic Senator Max Cleland led his Republican challenger, Saxby Chambliss, by five points. And most people were expecting that he would be reelected. Chris Hood was an election consultant who had worked for Diebold, now known as Premier Election Solutions. In 2002, he was on the ground in Georgia, helping Diebold prepare for the midterm election. The votes cast on Diebold machines were stored in unprotected memory cards, which could easily be altered. These memory cards not only carry vote data, they also carry computer programs and software updates or patches. As one of his responsibilities, Chris Hood was asked to place a software patch on the machines to be used in certain Georgia counties before the election. After we got into the warehouse, Bob Urosevich, the president of Diebold, arrived with a stack of these memory cards and announced that we needed to patch the machine because the clock wasn't working properly. It was also said that the state was not to know about this. When the actual votes were tallied, it was Saxby Chambliss winning over Cleland by seven points. That's a unexpected 12-point shift in a state that for the first time had deployed across the state Diebold touchscreen electronic voting equipment. 